that we pursue this goal with dark determination to help ensure that every nook and country of this country has access to electricity as soon as possible as the main driver of our vision. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon. Una good evening, I greet you all according to your time. It's me again, your sister, your lady, your girl, Mama Godin Channel. I want to say a big time to all my new subscribers, to my old subscribers, to my returning subscribers, and to everyone that are sharing my video. Wow, God bless you. If I have math all over my body, it's not enough for me to tell you people thank you for the way you guys are supporting me. And I pray to the good Lord God that anytime you need help, you need support in your life, God will always send a helper to you in Jesus' name. Yeah, my people. I don't carry another news come again, no. I don't say this news only they carry the phone, so I beg, no, I don't say they blame us. Now, wait till they for media. But let's say we now go come carry and come because not be everybody just today at about like that go nowhere in day. So, me, wait till they do, like to bring the news come again, analyze us more, let our people know wait till they go on. So, if we bring some kind of news, come maybe say you know, like her, I beg, now wait till they go, we, we have to talk about it. For me, come here and I say make I talk about her because the thing they pay me for body. So this news one that they carry the former so like about Ghana. So I also did this video where Ghana president come out. He not say the man they do many many development. Development really they go on for Ghana. So when I come to like see this video for I think the amount like forty seven thousand billion uh, million um, Ghana uh, dollar self. So for electricity, so the man come and say, in what make electricity go for all parts of the country? Say so now not be those days again when they say, what if it happen? No, they don't want it again. Wow, I was like seriously, wow, this man is doing great. The man, the Ghana president is doing great things. Not be for president now, eh? They go say they don't know what their cities need. How you how can a father say he don't know what his children need? What they what they would like to eat. So if they bring all those things from my nose, as I they talk and they call yourself, say the thing there for media. I mean I just to carry and come again, analyze us more. Because I wait till they say now nah, nothing nothing is hidden. Everything because anything that we carry, we see they sell for social media. So nothing is hiding. Yeah, nothing go hide on that song we say life not go rich. So we just they carry this video they call like this because say the thing they pay us for body and we want to make anybody when you pay for position. So make that they try do many things. So then now when they talk and say people they Nigeria they run, they go Ghana, run, they go so the first thing, electricity in all day. Our students go on the candle, say they read every time often for this video. So now see how they take talk about electricity. Almost three people come up now that they talk. Another woman, when I come still like again, the woman say, ah, at least baby will love to sleep quietly with help of fun, things like that. So they can read properly, even at night. They can read with electricity. Oh my God. What am I? Man, leave us and make me watch the video. Which not only gives us the assurance of stable power supply, but also reminds us of how far we have come from the days of widespread power outages and the phenomenon of Dumso, which brought us so much discomfort and inconvenience and brought businesses to their knees. Those were truly dark days, literally speaking, and we must continue to keep them behind us. Ladies and gentlemen, any country that aspires to industrialize with the overarching goal of guaranteeing a decent quality of life for its people, must ensure that its citizens have access to stable, efficient, and affordable power supply. Electricity is no longer a luxury, but rather in this age, a basic necessity. We must commit us and we ourselves to working hard to ensure that we achieve universal coverage in this country as soon as possible to spur economic growth. The Akufuado government remains fully committed to ensuring safe, stable and affordable power supply in this country. 
as we focus on realizing the Ghana Beyond the Date agenda, which has industrialization as its crown jewel, it is imperative that we pursue this goal with dog determination to help ensure that every nook and country of this country has access to electricity as soon as possible as the main driver of our vision. I'm confident that we are on the right path and with God on our side, I believe strongly that we should succeed in this enterprise. These are long-term investments that will pay dividends for generations. And that is the real beauty of what this grand substation is about. It is about inclusively helping ordinary Ghanaian citizens go about their daily lives with fewer interruptions. Students can study with the lights on in the evening. Store owners' products can last longer and are safer with continuous refrigeration. Drivers can safely navigate illuminated streets at twilight. Babies can sleep peacefully under a treated bed net, I trust, through the hot, humid night under the soft blow of a fan. And indeed, we're lucky to have the fans here today because it is a warm day, but no power shortage. The power sector is a complex system of customers, government entities, and private businesses. But to any Ghanaian, it is simple. Unreliable electricity leaves us all in the dark. This project keeps the lights on. As part of the $316 million MCC Ghana Power Compact, which is just one of the U.S. government's many contributions to a brighter future for Ghana. This substation is just one of multiple investments under the MCC Ghana Power Compact. Major construction will be completed in the coming months on substations at Kanda, Legon, and Kasawa, which are also designated to design to improve the quality and reliability of electricity through reduced outages and technical losses. That will losses. no doubt bring so much relief to consumers within East Catchment area. But beyond Pokwazi, I'm also happy to report that the Kasua bulk supply point project is finalized, providing further assurances of stable and reliable power supply to consumers. Across board, in the power generation, transmission and distribution areas, we are working hard to ensure synergy between the three. And this project is ample testimony of the work we are doing to develop the linkages between these three sectors. So we can prevent technical and financial losses and to ensure that challenges such as power theft are eliminated or cut down to the barest minimum. Negotiations on power purchase agreements with the independent power producers are also underway to ensure the taxpayer gets value for money. In renewable energy, ladies and gentlemen, we continue to make strides towards ensuring viability in our energy mix, whilst ensuring that the integrity of our environment is preserved. Share this video and I will say, see you in my next video. Keep on supporting your sister, your lady, your girl, anyone that come on a picking a day here. So bye, God bless you. Bye bye.